Hey guys, how's it going? Why don't you join Sancho and Daniel on their flight today? Daniel's getting ready for solo, just doing some final brush up, final clean up before that first solo happens. He doesn't actually know he's ready to go solo yet, but he'll find out soon enough. Take a look at this video. Have you guys done turns around the nose and tail yet? Yeah, a little bit. We spent a day working on that. Okay. Let's, uh, let's do a couple of those around the apex here. Okay. So, is this where you did them? Uh, we went down a little bit further there. Okay. Let's just pucker our nose in so that it ends up on the outside of this black circle. So let's come to a stop here. Okay. Perfect. And I want you to keep your nose facing the center of the circle. Yeah. And just work around the outside of this black circle. Always okay. keeping the nose pointing towards the center. And staying about the same distance away. Okay. It's outside the black circle. Charlie Abbott's for Terra Wind 170 at 5, altimeter 299 or 6, number 1, runway 07. Alright, so I got a treat today. I get to go fly with Daniel. And uh, we're just doing a few exercises here in the infield. We're going to do some turns around the nose. So we're trying to keep our nose same distance away from the center and then we're going to do some turns around the tail where we try and keep our tail in a particular spot and then move the aircraft around it. Just simulating what we would do in a uh, confined area where we don't have a lot of room to maneuver. Then we get to do my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> uh, you probably already guessed it, it's auto rotations. Alright, let's go ahead and do it to the left this time. Okay. Sweet autos of Daniel's there. Bravo exit Bravo, quick backtrack if you need it. Contact ground one to one desk line when you're off. Charlie, get the Bravo, Roger, keep the speed up now. Exit Charlie, exit. Alright, get the fucking Any of these exercises we do here, near the ground, turns around the toe tail and turns around the nose. It's always really key that we do it nice and slow and controlled because the reason we're doing them obviously is because dealing with a, a tight confined area usually um, that'd be a very common place to do not so much the turns around the nose but the turns around the tail. So the turns around the nose are just really good control of the aircraft, uh, working the pedals like different sites together. The turns around the tail are really critical to working confined areas. So let's go ahead and taxi now across the center of the circle, put our nose on the other side of the black circle. Okay. Okay. That's good there, we can stop. So our goal now is to keep our nose just inside the circle. Okay. And always lined up with whatever next line we see on the compass rows. By the time we get to the next line, we should be more or less lined up with it. Okay. If we do that, if you were to look behind us right now, our tail is right in the middle of this circle. Okay. The idea is to keep that circle right in that, or that tail right in the middle of that circle all the way around. Yep. So this one's more, more pedals with cyclic than anything else. So right now you're leading with pedal. So we need to lead a little bit more with cyclic. Okay. Feeling warmed up? Warmed up, yeah. <laughs> really warm? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Alright, let's go ahead then and ask for a circuit. Alright, so just ask for an infield circuit. Okay. Out of the ground, this helicopter here, you do go on Echo Lima Pop, we request an infield circuit. Echo Lima Pop, infield circuit approved. Echo Lima Pop. Alright, we'll turn and face down this taxiway then. So we'll just do our departure out this way. Because the wind is fairly light, it's not uh, just nice and slow and gentle on the departure. Oh, 
we're going to go around for a standard 700 foot infield circuit. Okay. Checks here. Lights are all out. Motors in the green. Fuel sufficient. TFPs are all in the green, which is all up. Car feed auto. Friction's off the collective there. That's right, yeah. Fantastic. And now we're leveling off. And now that we're level, you can start your diesel checks. Alright, so our height is good. We have 700 feet. The area is clear where we're going in the infield. Yeah, we're going to go aim for that apex there where we're working. Okay, sounds good. Uh, we have security in the cabin. We don't have anything rolling around. Uh, our engine, our, our lights are off. Our rotors in the green, temperatures and pressures are in the green. And uh, we're looking for traffic in the area. That Bell 206 there, but he's been there the whole time. He's not moving. That's right. So we get ourselves lined up so that we're kind of coming up the tail of the windsock there. Okay. Then we'll just stay to the left of it on the way in. Let's keep our power in a cruise attitude so that we have a cruise speed on entry. Okay, so maybe 70 or so. Then we'll keep it right around 700. So this first one, I'll call the entry just to give you a bit of a sense okay. of the timing, and then uh, from there on you'll call the entry. Okay. Alright, we'll ride this one together. Yeah. We're going to turn now and enter in 3, 2, 1. Nice and smoothly all the way down. Left pedal. Alright, so now rotor, we're doing pretty good. Mo motor is running, airspeed. We don't want to get any slower, so lock in this attitude. We'll turn a little more to the left here. Little check on the collective and then start our flare. And gently pushing level. Very nice, yeah? Coming out. Perfect. And uh, if you want, for the next few, yeah. To start the flare a little bit higher, okay, just so it's a little more comfortable for you, okay. That's kind of the height we want to end, eventually end up at, okay, as we're doing power recoveries. But for now, I don't mind if you add 10 feet to the the flare height, okay, so that we we don't not get any nervous as we get closer to the ground, right? Okay, okay. that'd be totally fine by me. Okay, are right, you have patrols? I have patrol. Awesome. So the key is you want to enter from a cruise speed. Because if you're if you're entering like 60 knots, then by the time you actually establish your descent, you're probably already too slow. Okay. okay. Whereas if you're entering more like you would in cruise speed, it gives you a little bit more to work with. Yeah. All right, we'll do our downwind checks. All our lights are off. Rotors in the green. Temperatures and pressures in the green. All switches are up. Car beats on auto, and electric friction is released. We got 700 feet. Our landing area is still clear. Our security of the cab, we have nothing floating around yet. Engine's still good, all lights are off. And we're looking for traffic in the area. Very nice. So we get the nose down a little bit, that'll keep our speed ideally around 70. Okay. So on this one, you're going to count it down, you're going to enter. And okay. you're going to do the whole thing, I'll just, I'll be here, but, uh, get you to do the flare, everything. Okay, sounds good. Oh, I see that helicopter's moving now. Yeah, they should be clear by the time we get there. Yeah. Alright, right here, we'll enter auto rotation in three, two, one. Rotor's good, motor's good, airspeed, let's stop, go any slower, get that nose down a little bit, there we go, just level there, good. trim, get ourselves a trim. It's a bit fast. 
past there yet? Yeah, it, was, uh, it felt pretty good overall. Um, we were definitely out of trim all the way before and once we entered. Great. So we want to make sure we get that nose nice and straight. Okay. That I was actually pretty happy with. Alright, great on. So let's take it around the back side and go to pad one over there. Yeah, sounds good. Set our timer for two minutes and let ourselves come down here. Awesome. Well done, man. Right on. <laughs> Very good. <sir. laughs> All right, guys, that was pretty cool, right? If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we're going to talk to you on the next one. We'll see you later.